So in this video, I'll show you the difference between single equals, double equals, and triple equals, when to use them, and if you stick around to the end, I'll answer the question, why not just use triple equals all the time? My name's Rob Pearmain, and this is Robert's Dev Talk. One of the most confusing aspects of JavaScript for the beginner can be what's the difference between the single equals, the double equals, and the triple equals, and when do I use them? Let's explain it simply. First, don't make the mistake of using a single equals when comparing values, as the answer will always be true. Or what do we mean? For example, if a is equal to 5 and b is equal to 7, then the statement a equals b will result in 7, because you're actually saying, I want a to equal b. So unlike the language basic, a single equals will always mean assign this value. OK, assuming we know that, we want to know what does double equals and triple equals mean? What's the difference? Well, think of it simply like this. If we compare a blue car and a blue plane by using double equals, the answer is true. Well, how can that be? Well, because double equals means compare the value. So in this case, the value is the colour blue. They both match, so therefore the answer is true. So when using double equals in JavaScript, it means compare the value only. However, if we compare a blue car and a blue plane using triple equals, the answer is no or false, as while they are both blue, they are not the same type of object. One is a plane and one is a car. So let's translate that to JavaScript. Let's take the string 1234 and the number 1234. Well, if we use double equals, they will match. So a double equals b will be true. The value is converted in JavaScript to an equal match. However, they will not match using triple equals, as one is a string object and the other is a number. So it's as simple as that. The double equals converts and compares the value. The triple equals compares both the object type and the value. OK, so why not use triple equals all the time, you may ask? Well, say, for example, you make a call to an API and you're unsure of the values you're going to get back. Well, some badly written APIs without a schema may sometimes return a string, 1, 2, 3, 4, and sometimes a number, 1, 2, 3, 4. Using double equals, you can get the value either way if you don't know whether it's returning a string or if it's returning a number. Of course, if you use TypeScript, you can declare the object types and avoid this error altogether. For example, let a colon string equals 1, 2, 3, 4 will give an error when transpiled. So, what have we learnt? Never use a single equal for comparisons, as it will always assign the value. Double equals means compare the value. Triple means compare both the object type and the value. I hope this has helped you to demystify single equals, double equals, and triple equals. But you may ask the question, what's the difference between async and await? Well, we've got a video for you just here. If you enjoy this type of content, make sure you subscribe, click the bell icon. I'll see you next time.